Hey Mike, loved your video from last week. I'm actually reading Mouse right now. It's like my first big graphic novel and I'm loving it. But the theme I saw in most of the graphic novels you talked about is dystopian society and like the skewed vision, which are like my favorite type of novel of all time. So this week I'm doing the 11 greatest dystopian fiction novels of all time, according to AJ. Book number one, 1984 by George Orwell. This is where we get Big Brother, The Thought Police. It's an incredible read. And if you haven't read it, please, please do. It has influenced so much of my life and it still haunts me to this day. Book number two, also George Orwell, Animal Farm, an allegorical tale about the Russian Revolution in 1917. It's completely mind blowing and a quick read. Number three, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. There's this utopian society, but a caste system. And you have to work within your caste, but at the end of the day, the government gives you this wonder drug called Soma that's supposed to make you happy. But what about free will? That's the question this book asks. Number four, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Movie's coming out soon, so if you don't want to read the novel, check out the movie. Child geniuses turned into soldiers, threat of an alien attack. What more could you ask for? Number five, The Other Land series by Tad Williams. Could be about 1,100 pages shorter, but it's amazing. So there's this whole conspiracy regarding the internet and these rich millionaires who have found a way to live forever through the internet. It's amazing. Number six, The Chrysalids by John Wyndham. So there's this group of kids that develop a telepathic ability and can speak to each other with their minds, but they have to keep it under wraps because it's post-nuclear war society and mutations are completely illegal and you will be executed if you have one. So you follow their story and what happens to them, which is crazy pants. Number seven, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Yay, Canadian! So the US government was killed by terrorists and now the entire country has reverted to Old Testament ways and women have zero rights and you hire handmaids to come in and live in your house and those are the people who have children for you except they're essentially slaves and the entire story is told through the perspective of a handmaid and it's just a really messed up book number eight oryx and crake by margaret atwood another post-apocalyptic novel you follow jimmy who's now known as snowman and through a series of flashbacks you see his life with his best friend crake and how the world came to the place it is now it is an incredible read. Number nine, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Books are banned. Firemen are now the people who go in and burn books. One fireman, after conversations with an idealistic neighbor, goes in to burn some books, but steals one, reads it, and his mind is blown. Number 10, Under the Dome by Stephen King. Uh, borderline dystopian, but anyway, there's a small town, dome comes over it, military can't get in people can't get out they have no idea how long they're going to be under there and you watch the chaos that ensues of the people trapped under the dome real insight into the human condition wonderful read super fast even though it's 1100 pages long and finally number 11 catch 22 by joseph heller a hysterical read you follow yosarian a bombardier who wants to get out of flying really dangerous missions but the only way that he can do that is if he's crazy but the only way you can prove you're crazy is if you want to fly the missions which he doesn't so he's caught in this catch 22 situation so that's all for this week mike i look forward to your next video and i'm going to be seeing you soon and until then ripley has a message for you she loves tacos <laughs>